welcome to Conan Release and welcome to the brand new Ford Ranger Raptor. Now what does Raptor mean? Raptor means it is the most aggressive off-road vehicle that the Ford brand it produces. Now there are many iterations of the Ranger but of course Raptor is the most rugged one under this wonderful bonnet sits a 3 liter V6 producing 392 brake horsepower and about 580 newton meters of torque. Now that is all paired with a 10 speed automatic gearbox and this car as opposed to the previous versions the previous years is a permanent four wheel drive. Of course you have four high, four low, two high but if you're driving on tarmac two high is the way to drive it and if you're off-roading for high is the way to drive unless you're getting a little bit stuck in the desert in the sand. Now to look at it, it is absolutely a, a gorgeous piece of machinery. Now in here, the cabin is extremely well appointed if I may say so. You've got this rather imposing sporty steering wheel with all your mod comms and your buttons on the left side, your cruise control and your radio and on the right side where you control the 12.4 inch central cluster right in front of me. You can do many things with it. You know, you can control the steering, you can put it into um, R mode, that's Raptor mode. You can uh, control the damper settings, normal sports and sand. Then you can do all sorts of things here. And then in the middle, a 12 inch center console with Ford's latest infotainment sync system. Really nice, really, really nice, really, really kind of, you know, um, quick and responsive. And the added bonus compared to the previous ones, you get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Navigation is built in, and you can also get, on subscription basis, you can also get Wi-Fi for your car, which is absolutely fantastic. The AC unit is uh, kind of controlled by buttons here but of course you've got the touch screen buttons here as well gear lever is rather clever it doesn't have that sliding uh kind of work top that the f-150 had but then again you know this is a slightly smaller version in the front it's absolutely comfortable of course over here you've got the um the different kind of auxiliary one two three four five six seven eight no i beg your pardon until six this is, of course, inspired by the F-22 Raptor uh, planes, as I'd like to think it is. I mean, if that's, that should be accurate information. Up here you have your SOS and your lights and that kind of thing. So as a cabin, great cabin, very spacious, very comfortable. The back is slightly different, but we'll get to that in a moment. Continuing on with kind of your cocooned driving position, very nice. Seats are wonderful. The seats are actually inspired by the F-22 Raptor. They're absolutely wonderful. They're very comfortable. You can get heated seats. I think you can get cooled seats as well. Don't take my word for it, but I think you can. The AC is very good. It's very, uh, you know, it's a hot day now. It's 41, 42, but great AC at the moment. Um, you've got the paddle shifters or flappy paddle gearbox, as I'd like to call it. Of course, it's a 10 speed automatic. Just a great, great, comfortable cabin to be in. Ford have really improved the, the overall quality and how kind of luxurious or rather premium this car looks. And of course, you've got uh, wireless charging right here, USB port in there, plenty of storage in here, which I've used to store. The drive modes are right here in the middle. You've got this four high, four low, four all-wheel drive and two high all in all wonderful cabin and of course the Raptor comes with these wonderful uh, orange uh, kind of coloring here and the Raptor signs over here just to kind of add that special je ne sais quoi to the uh, <laughs> Ranger Raptor. Well I think it's time to do the GoPro tour and here we have the front of the Ford Ranger Raptor beautifully imposing I love these new headlights performance LED as Ford likes to call them the blacked out grill fantastic then moving on to the side these massive massive tires 33 inch tires 
aggressive. Then you've got the sidebar here from the side, the side vents, a little detail there. That's a camera slash light, I guess. And then of course, you've got the stickers here, the Raptor stickers. Who wouldn't want those Raptor stickers? They are extra cost, as a matter of fact, but they do look wonderful. And then over to the back, you've got the double exhaust, one on the left, one on the right. Wonderful, and then these massive tow um, carabiners, I guess you call them. Wonderful, and then here you have another angle of the Ranger Raptor. Now moving on to the back of the Ranger Raptor, the towing capacity on this particular Ranger Raptor is 2.5 tons. Now that's slightly less than a regular Ranger, but it's still plenty. And the payload, payload means how much cargo you can fit in the boot or in this kind of pickup area. That's about 640 kilograms. So that's also a healthy amount of load that you can place on this Ranger. It's a good sturdy machine, you know, you can, uh, pretty heavy myself, I can get on there, there you go. I've seen a lot of people do this, they get in the boot of the cars. Now this is the kind of boot that is rather comfortable and right in here, you actually have two very interesting things, a 12 volt plug and a 230 volt plug. So a kind of an AC and DC voltage that you can use here. It's, uh, this car is effectively turned into a, uh, a moving generator should you want to go camping or for any reason you want to charge anything up here, have your heavy tools, whatever it might be, you can do that over here. Now let's get to the driving bit for the Ranger Raptor, the Ford Ranger Raptor. And I have to say, even in these off-road conditions, I, mean, I shouldn't really say even in these because this car is made for the off-road, even in these off-road conditions, it is rather comfortable. The ride is absolutely smooth. The, um, I've got four high engaged. I can do four all right now and then give it some. And there is absolutely wonderful traction there. The, uh, the exhaust noise is something else as well. It really sounds beefy and sporty, despite the fact that it's a V6 and um, just the uh, ability of it going through these uh, mud ruts and, um, and dry kind of terrain is just really, really satisfying. Absolutely, the handling, the even with a little bit of speed, it's actually very steady, very much on the ground. You do, of course, have seven, seven driving modes uh, apart from the four different that you have here, you have three more uh, kind of, you know, for the uh, mud, for the sand, and for the snow kind of conditions as well. Of course, you have adaptable dampers and you have reinforced uh, suspension and so on and so forth. So overall, a great ride on the off-road Ranger Raptor. Here we are on one of those rather smooth roads and I've been advised by a very good friend of mine who has one of these in the Philippines, as a matter of fact, to drive it in too high. So when you're on the motorway, we put it onto too high. In a jiffy, it passes onto it. Absolutely flawless. Look at it. There's barely any noise. It's a very smooth ride. And on top of it, you have all the mod comms of any modern premium car you would have in here plus this massive 12 inch screen right in the middle and this cluster in front of you and, and all the might of the Ranger Raptor just at your fingertips should you need it so I have to say on the uh, tarmac it is rather impressive. Mm -hmm. 